Hi everyone, this is Tim from Mile High Themes, and in this video I'm just going to briefly show you how to set up your navigation in Galleria version 3.0. So I have a fresh version of the theme installed up here, as you can see. So in one tab I'm going to go ahead and click Customize, and in another tab I'm going to go to my online store navigation section. So first I'm going to look at the menus. We have this menu called new main menu and that's the one I'm going to be working on today. You can see that it has five links in here including a couple that have multiple tiers of navigation. So we've got main, main one, and then main 1.1 as sub navigation. So I just wanted to briefly show you this to see how it will look on the website. So first of all, to access the menu area of the theme settings, I'm going to go to header, and then you see there's a main menu block in here by default. So I click that, and then over here we have options to choose which menu we want to display. So I'm going to change this and choose main menu new, or new main menu, and select. And now we see we have the main menu with three levels here, and then this page has also had multiple levels. But you can see this is just a single column drop down and the links appear to the right and nest out. So if you're happy with this sort of menu and you don't need multiple columns, then setting up your menu this way is perfectly fine and you don't need to do anything else. If you want to set up multi-column mega menus like is shown in our demos, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new menu for our mega menu. So back in navigation, I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna quickly create a little menu here that we're going to use as a mega menu. So I'm gonna click add menu and I'll just call this mega menu. You can call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. So I'll just add a few menu items here. We'll just call this column one and then I don't want to put a link in here, so I'm just going to put that hash symbol in there. And then I'm going to add column two. And we'll just link it to the home page because it's a little quicker. Column three, home page, and column four, because I want to create a four column mega menu. Great. So now we just need to add some links underneath each of these so they appear in the mega menu. So I'm going to click add another menu item and I'm gonna call this one dash one. So that's like first column, first, first link. Link that to the home page, And then I'm gonna drag this up and put it under column one. So it appears nested like this with this small drop down arrow. I'll add one more just to be safe. Home page, add. Then I'm going to do something similar to the other ones. So I'll just create another one. This will be 2 1 home page. And then I'll drag this up under column 2. And then 2 2 home page. And then just for fun, we'll add one to each of the other columns, just so we have something in there. Three dash one. Drag that up. Four dash one. And drag this up there. Okay, so now we have our menu set up. So I'm gonna save that. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at how this looks. So back in our theme customizer, I'm going to click add a new block. And one of the choices is a mega menu. So I'll add that. And you'll see that now there's this shop link. That's what shows up by default. So it's shop and it's got two empty images in it with some text below. So the first thing we need to do is select which menu is going to be our mega menu. So I'm going to click select menu and I'm going to choose Mega menu. Select. And now you can see we have four columns with those links that I just set up. 
and we still have the two images on the right here. So here you can change what the text is for the link. And again, like I told you, it doesn't matter what you name the menu. So we'll just call this mega. And if you like, you can paste, you can choose a link for clicking on this parent item. For now, I'm going to leave that blank. And then here's the options to add the images if you like. So you can quickly add an image here, select that. And then you can put a link for the image. Let's just link it to this product. The heading goes here. Looks like a hiking picture, so I'll put hiking gear in here. And a subheading, save 50% today. And now we'll go ahead and populate a second image if we like. That looks like a nice axe. Select. We'll link this to our contact page, why not? Ax us anything. You like that? Second image, uh, let's see. Um, contact us today. Okay, now I'm going to save that and show you what it looks like. So we still have our four columns of links here, and we have our two images that we added. Notice that they've been sized to match and fit in the space along with the text below. So if you only want to show what of the image is, you can just click this checkbox to turn it off. And as you can see, the column's actually spaced out a little bit to fill up the space a little better. And of course, if you don't want to show any images, you can turn them both off. And you just have a standard four column menu. So that's how you create a mega menu. You can have two, three, or four columns in here just by setting up the menus as I showed you. So if you just wanted two columns, you wouldn't obviously create column three and column four. But you can have up to six menus in there. Uh, you just have to be cognizant of the fact that there's probably not going to be room for as many menus as that, plus images and everything on all screen sizes. So that's something to keep in mind. So now we notice the only other thing to talk about is that the last item in here is the mega menu. So what if you wanted to have a mega menu like in between product and pages? Well, in that case, what we would need to do is actually create a separate menu. We have to have two different menus. So let's say you wanted to have main shop and product, and then you wanted to have your mega menu. And then you wanted to have pages and blog after that. So in that case, you'd need to edit your main menu, which I'm not actually going to do, but I'll show you what you need to do. So again, here's our main menu. Oops, that's not the right one, sorry. New main menu is the one we were working on. So if we wanted pages and blog to be after the mega menu, we would have to go ahead and delete them from in here. And then we would create a new menu Let's just do that real quick. So we'll create a new menu that's just going to have pages and blog. And we'll just call this right side. And then we're going to have pages and blog. For fun, we'll leave it to the, we'll actually link it to the blog. And that's all we need to do. We save this menu. We can obviously add our sub sub navigation again if we want to. And again, it'll just show as regular drop downs. So we'll save this menu. Now back in our settings, assuming in our main menu, we remove those two links from this, I would just click add another block over here and just click menu. Then we'll go ahead and switch this menu. Oops. Click change, change menu, and we call it right side. And now these two new links have shown up after the mega menu. So hopefully that gets you the idea. If you wanted to have mega menus um, at different intervals, you're gonna have to create multiple menus. So that's how you create mega menus in Galleria 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via our support site. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.